Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle with Treble Health, and today I'm going to be discussing pregnancy and tinnitus, and whether or not the two can be related. For many, pregnancy is a very joyous time in one's life, and we're going through, as women, many different types of hormonal and physical changes, and in fact, some of these hormonal and physical changes may be contributing to either a recent onset or an uptick to one's tinnitus if you've already had tinnitus before becoming pregnant. So I'm gonna discuss in a little more detail what happens when we're pregnant that can cause an individual to experience greater tinnitus or a newfound level of tinnitus that they never had before being pregnant. In one study, they found that two out of every three pregnant women reported some form of tinnitus as compared to one out of 10 non-pregnant women. So just by comparison alone, we can see that there tends to be some kind of connection between being pregnant and an increased perception of tinnitus during pregnancy. So what exactly is that connection? What's causing someone to notice their tinnitus if they're pregnant? Another study that was completed by the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology found that women who experience tinnitus during pregnancy continue to experience tinnitus for up to four months after delivering. So four months postpartum, they were still experiencing some level of tinnitus. And for this reason, we know that tinnitus is quite common. It's actually one of the most common otologic or audiological or ear-related issues that pregnant women will notice. And oftentimes they'll have ringing. They may also notice some form of ear pressure or fullness in their ears. And some women may also experience changes to their hearing. But tinnitus is definitely one of the most common symptoms that individuals who are pregnant will start to experience. Or like I said, if you've already had a baseline level of tinnitus prior to becoming pregnant, you may notice that your tinnitus has changed now that you are pregnant. And that's all very common. And a lot of it's due in part to the hormonal and physical changes that your body's undergoing. The sounds that pregnant women may hear can vary. One of the most common sounds that pregnant women will report hearing is actually whooshing. Oftentimes the sound of whooshing, thumping, or beating, pulsing is the result of the cardiovascular changes that are happening within one's body. So it lends itself to be more like pulsatile tinnitus versus non-pulsatile tinnitus. But again, women who are pregnant may also experience ringing, clicking, buzzing, or humming. So any sounds that one hears is normal, but whooshing tends to be more common. Some of the more common causes of tinnitus during pregnancy, of course, are the hormonal and the cardiovascular circulatory changes that are occurring in one's body. But it can also be the result of any underlying medical conditions that one had prior to pregnancy that is now kind of getting exasperated as a result of all of the toll that the body is undergoing by being pregnant. So for example, if one may have had high blood pressure before pregnancy, now there's an even greater blood pressure increase now that one is pregnant. Or for example, if one may have suffered from migraines before pregnancy, they may start to suffer maybe from more migraines now that they're pregnant, again, because of some of the vascular changes that might be contributing to it. But All of these things kind of compound and lead themselves to experiencing a new onset of tinnitus or a greater level or change in pitch in tinnitus than one may have experienced before being pregnant. This is a short interruption from today's video to announce the tinnitus quiz. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you or someone you know has tinnitus. We know how much tinnitus can impact your daily life and we're here to help. Visit tinnitusquiz.com and take a two-minute quiz to receive personalized treatment plans that have helped hundreds of people learn to manage their tinnitus. Start now at tinnitusquiz.com. Another cause that's often overlooked as one of the reasons why pregnant women may start to experience tinnitus is the growing level of stress that one has as we're going through our pregnancy. For example, you may start to worry about how healthy you are, how healthy the baby is, what you're going to do about work or childcare. So stressors can start to come up and build during pregnancy that might exasperate or bring about tinnitus. There's also the lack of sleep or the increased sleep disturbances that occur as one moves along in their pregnancy. 
Oftentimes, women will start waking up more frequently during the nighttime to either use the bathroom or to adjust their sleep position because they're physically uncomfortable. And this change in overall sleep quality or sleep quantity can also lend itself to tinnitus. So there's a lot of different factors that can play into why one is experiencing tinnitus while pregnant, but more than often than not, it is because of cardiovascular changes or some of the hormonal changes. So I'll go into a little bit more detail about those. Blood pressure can increase when one's pregnant, and because of the change in blood pressure or blood flow, this can impact the overall health and function of the cochlea, the inner ear. The inner ear is very sensitive because it relies on a strong and healthy vascular supply to help keep all of the sensory cells working and healthy. So if anything starts to get altered with that, it can start to impact the perception of both hearing and tinnitus. And this is why we think that tinnitus might start to come about as women are pregnant because of this increase in blood pressure or high blood pressure developing during pregnancy in women who never had high blood pressure before being pregnant. As I mentioned before too, the type of sound that women may hear because of blood pressure or vascular issues would be a whooshing type of sound. And it might actually even sound like their heart rate or their pulse, which is what we call pulsatile tinnitus. But again, it doesn't have to be, but this is one of the more common sounds that women who experience tinnitus as a result of cardiovascular changes will hear. Some women will even experience hearing changes as a result of the vascular changes that are occurring in the inner ear. So if you are experiencing either tinnitus or hearing loss, it's important to bring it up with your doctor because it may be an indication that you are experiencing high blood pressure, which can be very dangerous for not only you as a pregnant woman, but also for your child. In regards to some of the hormonal changes that a woman who is pregnant experiences are growing levels of progesterone. Progesterone is a very important hormone during pregnancy. It even helps to stabilize and regulate the amount of estrogen levels in order to maintain a healthy pregnancy and it's important for not just you, but also for the baby. And there have been studies that have found that progesterone and estrogen levels do impact the way the inner ear is functioning, not just in women who are pregnant, but also women who aren't pregnant, but maybe experiencing other hormonal changes like that of menopause. So we do think that there's some kind of connection there between progesterone and estrogen levels that can impact the overall perception of tinnitus, as well as maybe any changes to hearing that you may experience while you're pregnant, because recent research has found that the levels of estrogen and progesterone are important part of the healthy inner ear balance. And if there is something that throws off the balance of the inner ear, it can result in tinnitus, hearing loss, or even symptoms of imbalance or dizziness. Pregnancy oftentimes is accompanied by swelling of the ankles or the feet, and this extra retention of water can also impact the way the inner ear is functioning. So trying to manage as best as you can the normal swelling and water retention that occurs while pregnant can help improve the overall perception of tinnitus, but this cause of tinnitus is one that resolves after having the baby. So symptoms of tinnitus often go away postpartum as the swelling starts to drop and you get back to not having swollen ankles like I did. I remember that was one of the things I was most happy about when I could see my feet again and they could fit in my regular shoes after I had my first daughter. Women who are pregnant are also more prone to having an iron deficiency develop. So it's important to make sure that you're getting enough iron because this might be what is causing your tinnitus to either increase or come about. And this can be easily managed through the use of a prenatal vitamin, enriching your diet with more iron-rich foods like that of spinach, red meats, and just regularly taking a prenatal vitamin that has some iron and making sure that you're eating foods that also contain iron can help manage symptoms of tinnitus as well as reduce your risk of developing an iron deficiency during pregnancy. It's also normal to experience tinnitus during pregnancy 
because of issues that are completely unrelated to the pregnancy. For example, one of the more common causes of tinnitus is often earwax. So if you have a history of including earwax and having to get your ears cleaned out, it may be time. Maybe you have some blockage in your ears and that's what's causing you to notice a ringing. It could also be a sign that maybe you have an ear infection or fluid in your ears if you're also experiencing a decline in your hearing. So a lot of the more common causes of tinnitus can also happen during pregnancy, but it is more likely to experience tinnitus during pregnancy because of any kind of hormonal or cardiovascular changes. I want to strongly advise if you are experiencing pulsatile tinnitus, tinnitus that sounds like whooshing or sounds like your heart beating or your blood flowing, that you follow up with your OBGYN and tell them because this could be a sign that you're experiencing high blood pressure. And high blood pressure during pregnancy can lead to the dangerous condition called preeclampsia. And it's dangerous not just for you, but also for the baby. And Another form of preeclampsia that can result is called HELP syndrome, and that again is also very dangerous, more so for the mother than the child, but you want to not take this lightly. So if you are experiencing pulsatile tinnitus, it's worthwhile mentioning, you never know. It may not be related to high blood pressure or anything vascular, but it's better to be safe. It's important for you to do what you can to make sure that you're maintaining a healthy pregnancy, not just for you, but also for your unborn baby. So as you learned, pregnancy and tinnitus They sometimes do go hand in hand. It is very common seeing that two out of three pregnant women reported tinnitus in one study. It's the most common audiological issue that's brought up during pregnancy besides earfulness or hearing loss. And so it's something that is always worth mentioning to your doctors because, again, it could be an indication that something isn't right with your blood pressure, maybe you're having some hypertension, maybe there's something else happening vascular wise. It could also be an indication that maybe hormone levels are off, but it also may just be the normal result of increased stress, lack of sleep or disrupted sleep that occurs as one goes through all those months of pregnancy. And oftentimes the symptoms do resolve after one has given birth. And if you've had a you know, had a pre-existing level of tinnitus before pregnancy, but it's increased during pregnancy, you often go back to your baseline. If you never had any kind of tinnitus before becoming pregnant, oftentimes that tends to resolve after you've had the baby as well. So again, if you are experiencing tinnitus, some of the same ways to manage tinnitus outside of being pregnant are still reasonable and great tools for you to use while you're pregnant. So making use of sound therapy. Sound therapy essentially means avoiding quiet, making sure you're enriching your environment with different types of sounds. You can use your telephone, a sound machine, some kind of earphones or headphones. If it's really disrupting your everyday life, you can even consider ear level maskers or hearing aids plus masking if you have some degree of hearing loss. It's important to try to do what you can to manage any stress or anxiety because that can oftentimes exasperate the overall level of tinnitus. And again, it's normal to experience increased levels of stress as you're undergoing pregnancy. Your body's going through a lot of changes. Your life is going to change whether you haven't had, you don't have any existing children. This is your first child. Or if you're going from number one to number two or number two to number three, there's always some stress involved. There's financial concerns. We know that children aren't free and it takes a lot to have a child. It takes a lot of time, energy, finances. So there's a lot of reasons to normally feel stress and it's important to try to manage it through things like meditation, yoga, exercise, breathing exercises, anything that you find relaxing like reading, going for a walk, All of these things will help to reduce your overall level of stress that you're feeling not only mentally and physically, and in turn, that can also help improve how you're feeling about your tinnitus, how much you're noticing it. There's a lot to be said with distraction and refocusing your attention on things that do matter to you. The more you can do that, the less you may notice your tinnitus, as well as making sure, again, if it is medically related, that you're doing what you can to manage it. So if it's maybe the result of some kind of iron deficiency, you may want to change your diet, add a few things in that can help build up those iron levels. If you think it's because of swelling, then maybe trying to avoid as much as you can that bag of chips at lunchtime, just to avoid the extra salt, which may help to retain extra fluid in your body. 
So there's a lot of things that you can try to do that can help manage the symptoms of tinnitus, but it's important to, of course, discuss it with your doctor. And if it is greatly affecting your life, understand that there's a lot of things that can be done to help. I hope you found this video informational and helpful. If you are pregnant and currently experience tinnitus or have experienced tinnitus while you were pregnant, feel free to comment below and ask any other questions that you may have. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for your time.